before venturing out onto the Wanganui River, crossing the bar or swimming at many of the beaches or river. It is essential to understand the dangers, such as the flow of the river and tide times, obstacles that hide just below the surface, especially debris after a storm or heavy rain, the ocean currents, and large waves at the Wanganui River entrance and further out to sea. The Wanganui River caters to a large variety of recreational watercraft users. Therefore, it is important to be considerate to other river users and to know the safety aspects that are relevant to your activity. Always travel on the right-hand side of the river, being aware of blind corners and avoiding boat wake around non-powered craft, such as rowing skiffs, kayakers and canoes. Be aware of tourist commercial craft that operate on the river and in particular the paddle steamer that has restricted manoeuvrability. When using a recreational craft on the Wanganui River or bar entrance, it is important to understand the maritime rules that apply to you on the water. In particular, Rule 22.6, every vessel must at all times proceed at a safe speed. The river can get congested with recreational and commercial craft and there are numerous navigation safety hazards. Match your speed to the conditions so that proper and effective action can be taken to avoid a collision or accident. Rule 91 of the Maritime Rules requires that all watercraft keep within 5 knots within 50 metres of another craft or persons in the water. Speed must also be kept within 5 knots 200 metres off the shore or divers. When boating on the Wanganui River, the 2km rowing course from Cowles Avenue to the railway bridge has a zero wake policy when rowing skiffs are either racing or training on it. Rule 91.4 requires all recreational craft users should wear a PFD appropriately sized for each person on board and wear at times of heightened risk. It's good practice to wear them at all times when underway. If boating on the coastline and crossing the Wanganui River bar, local knowledge is critical. It's essential that the following safety procedures are followed. Check the weather forecast and tide times. Check the sea conditions at the river entrance prior to considering crossing the bar, including any future changes to weather patterns on Met service before crossing. A webcam view of the entrance is also available on www.sailingwanganui.co.nz forward slash webcam that your craft and personal experience is capable of making the passage across the bar, that you have the necessary safety equipment on board, including wearing a correctly fitted life jacket for each person aboard. Call Coast Guard with a trip report on Channel 85 prior to crossing the bar, also giving your anticipated return time. Also let them know when you have returned over the bar safely. For more information on crossing bars, please refer to Maritime New Zealand's website the more you understand the possible dangers, the better equipped you'll be to keep yourself, family and friends safe.